Hi, it's Nathan from Air Recognition. I had the chance this week to visit Kazan Helicopters Factory in Kazan, Russia, where the MI-8 as well as the ANSAT and the MI-38 are manufactured and flight tested. And now I'll introduce you the mechanical production that we have here. Mechanical production consists of several workshops that are specialized by the operations and works that are done in these workshops. We started to reconstruct this workshop approximately uh, in 2008 and this reconstruction lasted up until 2014. Throughout this period we've managed to switch from, from very simple equipment or from cheap equipment that, used to, that was used to work with Palette to the equipment that has been specifically designed for our production needs with smart production automation elements. The driver for it was lack and deficit of talented workers. That's why uh, after we carried out an assessment we made a decision to change the structure of our mechanical production to reduce the amount of equipment used by a multitude of times and to switch to producing components using equipment that allows us that allows us to pr produce a wide range of components on one piece and this equipment also allows us to switch from producing one component to producing another component in uh, in a very uh, fast time the specifics of aviation industry product, uh, production is that we need to produce those components in very small batches, maybe even one component. The average batch of components don't, don't exceed 10 or 20 units. We store uh, already components uh, and parts that we get from uh, milling and lathing workshops. The warehouse is fully automated. All the components are stored in this automated, uh, uh, automated storing cells. And you, you, we, could check, we could check the inventory of the warehouse uh, online from any computer which has access to the system. Nowadays, we're in the shops where they assemble the fuselage of uh, the helicopters. This shop has been commissioned in 2015 and launched. It used to, it used to be located at two different sites uh, in three different shops. So within the framework of unifying all the assembly shops, we managed to get it all under one roof. Accordingly, we've managed to drastically cut all the logistics chains. Let us approach the let us approach the assembly sites and take a look at how the fuselage of our helicopters are assembled. This, when building this complex, we've taken into account the labor safety requirements. First of all, you can take a look at the ceiling. It has noise dampening panels installed, which dampen the sound from uh, vibro pistols and welding hammers. This is the assembly line for Mi-38. This shop also has two assembly lines, one for Ansat helicopter, one for Mi-8, and for Mi-38 uh, accordingly. It's a unique shop which includes assembly lines for three different types of helicopters. And the assembly principle is done following the conveyor principle. We see the beginning stages of we see the beginning stages of the assembly of the fuselage. Those are minor diaphragms and minor components being assembled together. After we do the component assembly, we are moving to a larger we are moving to a larger scale uh, assembly units. To your right, you can see you can see the uh, assembly unit for uh, ceiling panels. To your left, you can see the assembly line for the rear compartment. After after we have the unit assembled at those uh, lines, it all enters it all enters to the uh, end assembly line. This shop, the final assembly shop, is split in two parts. Now we're heading to the Mi-8 final assembly line. Mainly, uh, mainly those are done for air airborne troops. The second half of the final assembly shop, which we'll see a bit later on, there they assembly Ansat and Mi-38. And, and, and the Mi-8 in the salon uh, option. First of all, we start to, we start to install the ceiling panel. Pipelines, wires, uh, the uh, management systems for further installation of engines and reductors. After we've, after we've installed the engines and, redu and reductors, we, we also uh, finish installing and assembling the wiring, the, uh, the wiring, the uh, wire channels, 
So we do we, we, we produce power cables and wires ourselves. So there's also a final assembly for power units. We, we also install we also install fire uh, fire merger systems uh, and oil systems uh, to the engines, which are then plugged in into the helicopter system. The, assemb the assembly done the assembly is done by complex teams uh, using a team and shift uh, approach. So the team the team starts to work on one fuselage and they start to install and assemble everything simultaneously, as you can see. Uh, it, we also install the control panels to the pilot's cabin. We also we also install and assemble the chassis for the helicopter. And the last and the last part, which is there, uh, is the final part where they do the where they do the finishing up of the assembly. Yeah. They check all the systems that have been installed uh, on the helicopter, and overall acceptance uh, acceptance by the Independence Commission is done there. Uh, there are three separate chambers that were built specifically for uh, paint jobs. We were able to drastically shorten the paint cycles uh, thanks to the use of high temperatures. So they dry, they dry, uh, they dry the fuselage at temperatures of from 40 to from 40 to 80 degrees Celsius. So before we before we introduced this technology, the average paint cycle for one helicopter amounted to nine days. We've managed to we managed to cut it down to five. We've separately, we've separately outlined zones for grinding the surface. You see those were two boxes that we've passed over there. And also those zones are used for acceptance of the, uh, of the paint job. At, uh, helicopter production, it's mainly done uh, in two modifications right now. Ansat U or UBI, which is used for training uh, helicopter pilots. And I'll start with hydromechanical uh, control system. Uh, this was this was the helicopter that was certified for passenger transportation. This helicopter was fully developed by uh, was fully developed by the designer and the designer bureau of the Kazan helicopter plant. And nowadays, it nowadays is gaining uh, more and more of a market share. This is the this is what we call the non-standard final assembly shop because we still consider Mi 17 to be the standard because because Mi 17 is the, is our main money is our main money cow and and those are non-standard and special modifications helicopters first of all, first of which is Ansat and we'll see Mi 38 uh, down the line. Yeah.